turn your Bibles to the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 36. We want to look at, you know, finding water in the midst of drought. Finding water in the midst of drought. What happened in the book of Genesis? You see, in this particular scripture, chapter 36 of Genesis, you know, someone did something. Someone did something. It, 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 it did something that, you know, was recorded. Something that was recorded in the greatest book of all. Are you with me? Someone did something, something notable that warranted a record of it in the greatest book of all. And if you ask me what the greatest, what the, the greatest book is, of course the greatest book is the scripture, isn't it? The greatest book of all is the scriptures, the Holy Bible. There is no other written script that is greater than the word of God. The word of God is life. The word of God is living. Praise God. But this person did something notable in the land that made him become renowned. That made him become popular. And I pray that the Lord will lead you into doing that which will restore your honor. The Lord will lead you into doing that which will restore your grace, restore your life in the name of Jesus. Something that he did. Who is this person and what did he do? What did the Bible say he did? In the book of Genesis chapter 36, let's read from verse 24. The Bible says, These were the sons of Zebion. Both Aja and Anna. Aja and Anna. Now, it now says, this was the Anna who found the water. This was the Anna who found the water in the wilderness as he pastured the donkeys of his father, Zebion. This was the Anna. You see, this was, the, this was the genealogy of Esau as it was recorded in the scripture. But you see, in the record of the genealogy of Esau, all that you had was this one giving birth to this one, that one giving birth to that one, and this one and that one being the, being the eldest, and so they were chiefs. They became chiefs. Praise the Lord. But then, when they now got to this particular, you know, person, Zebion, the Bible says Zebion had two children, Aja and Anna. Aja and Anna. But there was something about this Anna that was recorded in the scripture. The Bible says he found water. In the wilderness, he found water in the wilderness as he pastured the donkeys of his father. Now, why do you think this issue will be recorded in the scripture if it was not a notable feat? Why was it recorded in the scripture? Praise the Lord. If there was no famine in the land, if there was abundant water in the land, there would be no need. There, was, there would be no reason at all for recording what this man did. If there was no famine in the land, there would be no need for this record about Anna in the scriptures. Praise God. The Bible says this was the Anna who found the water. In the wilderness, as he pastured the donkeys of his father Zebion. So you can begin to picture a young man at the time in the land 
of famine. In the land where everyone, everyone lacked water. In the land where there was no water to drink, no water to feed the livestock. You can imagine what the situation in that land would have turned out to be. You can imagine people dying as a result of droughts in the land. You can imagine animals dying as a result of droughts in the land. Praise the Lord. This was the Anna who found the water. The Bible says he found the water. So for the scripture to reference a particular water, it meant that there was no relevant water in the land for the people. Praise the Lord. And the water that he found was not just an ordinary water, I mean, was not just a small, you know, a small water that few people will drink and that will be all. Praise God. He found water in the wilderness as he pastured. So you will imagine, you know, a young man who said to himself, I can't stay here. I can't stay here and allow the animals, I mean, the flock of my father, the donkeys of my father to die. I can't stay here and, you know, continue to suffer like the others. I will arise and do something about it. I will arise and do something about it. So this young man left, he left his family. This young man, he left everyone in the land and he began, he began on a journey. He began on a journey, an expedition to find water for the donkeys of his father. An expedition to find water for the donkeys of his father. And so you can imagine, you can imagine what would have happened after he found the water? The moment he found the water, he would have given the donkeys of his father the water that they needed. And he also would have drank, you know, to his satisfaction. Whoever followed him, maybe servants that followed him, would also have drank water to their satisfaction. Praise the Lord. Then, after they were satisfied, this young man would then have thought, ha, huh, you know, this water is sufficient for everyone you know. If only I can get people to know that there was water in this place, they would all come and they will also drink from this water. This was the man that found the water in the wilderness. And so what would he have done? You know, because he had just, he had just, he had just found a niche here. He would then have returned to the land of his father. He would have returned to the land and he would have announced to them, I have found water. I have found water. I have found water. You know, just as the servants of Isaac came to him and announced joyfully that they had found water, this man Anna would have also gone to his father, would have gone to his, to his relatives, would have gone to the people of the land that he had found water. Praise the Lord. And then, one after the other, you will find people living leaving the land and going to the very place where the water Anna found was located. Praise the Lord. And gradually, you will find that that wilderness would have soon become what? A city. That wilderness would have now become a place that people inhabit. A place that people inhabited because there was water. Wherever there is water, 
there will be life. Wherever there is water, things thrive. Whenever there is water, wherever there is water, there will be industry. Wherever there is water, there will be, there, there will be rejoicing. People come to the place where there is water. Praise the Lord. So when this man, Anna, found water, what he did was notable at the time. And because of the notable deed of Anna, it was recorded in the genealogy of Esau as the particular man that brought joy, the particular man that brought hope to his people. Finding water in the midst of droughts. Anna found water in the midst of droughts. In the midst of lack, he found water. And the water that he found brought joy, brought hope to many. The water he found now brought about a new city where people would build houses, where people would get married, where people would have children, and where he would become the champion of all because he was the one that found the water. God is going to lead you to the place of the water. God will lead you to the place of your niche. He will lead you to the place of your niche where you will be honored, where you, be, you will receive, you know, the, the, the honor and the, and the grace due to you. The Lord will lead you in the name of Jesus. 